वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट क्लोरप्रोमाजिन इट्स सिंथेसिस एंड मेकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन इन योर एग्जामिनेशन क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क इन दिस मैनर गिव सिंथेसिस एंड मेकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ क्लोरप्रोमाजिन सो इन दैट क्वेश्चन यू विल राइट सिंथेसिस ऑफ क्लोरप्रोमाजिन विथ इट्स आई यू पी एस इन एम देन यू विल मैंशन मेकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ क्लोरप्रोमाजिन फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस सिंथेसिस ऑफ क्लोरप्रोमाजिन स्टार्टिंग मटेरियल फॉर सिंथेसिस ऑफ क्लोरप्रोमाजिन इज थ्री क्लोरो एन फिनाइल बेन्जीनेमाइन दिस पोर्शन इट इज एनिलीन आई यू पी एस इन नेम ऑफ एनिलीन इज बेन्जीनेमाइन हियर क्लोरो इज प्रेजेंट ऑन थर्ड पोजिशन सो थ्री क्लोरो एंड एट द अमीनो नाइट्रोजन फिनाइल इज प्रेजेंट सो एन फिनाइल बेन्जीनेमाइन दिस इज आई यू पी एस इन नेम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड This compound is treated with sulfur and iodine. Due to heating, heterocyclization reaction will be taken place, and this compound will be cyclized and will form newer heterocyclic ring. This is known as phenothiazine. On the phenothiazine nucleus, chloro group is present at the second position. So this compound is known as 2-chlorophenothiazine. This 2-chlorophenothiazine is then treated with 1,3-dichloropropane. Here, two chloro groups are present on first and third position, so it is 1,3-dichloropropane. In the presence of sodium amine, which is also known as soda amide, so due to heating, the chloro from 1,3-dichloropropane and hydrogen from this 2-chlorophenothiazine will be liberated as hydrogen chloride and this compound will be formed here chloro and hydrogen has been removed and this carbon will be substituted at this hydrogen so n that is bonded with ch2 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 cl this compound will be formed the formed compound will be then treated with dimethyl amine this compound is known as dimethyl amine so after heating here hydrogen and here chloro will be removed as hydrogen chloride and this dimethyl amino will be substituted at this chloro group so as removal of hydrogen and chloride this nitrogen will now attach at this carbon so n and ch3 twice this compound will be formed so ch2 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 then this ch2 will be connected with nitrogen and dimethyl group so the formed compound is known as chlorpromazine the heterocyclic ring that is present in the chlorpromazine is phenothiazine this carbon will be given first number then second third fourth sulfur will be on fifth position sixth seven eight nine and nitrogen will be on the tenth position chloro group is present on second position so we will write two chloro this one is two chloro on the tenth position one two and three so propyl group is present so we will write ten propyl on the propyl group dimethyl amino is present on the third position in a phenothiazine nucleus we have given the number according to the manner 1 2 3 4 5 so on the propyl we will give number differently 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash which is also known as 1 prime 2 prime 3 prime in this manner so dimethyl amino which is present on 3 prime position so we will write 3 prime nn dimethyl amino then propyl then name of nucleus that is phenothiazine so we will write iupac name 2 chloro then 10 then 3 prime then nn dimethyl amino then propyl then phenothiazine this is iupac name of chlorpromazine now mechanism of action psychosis occurs due to increase in the concentration of dopamine so whenever dopamine concentration in the brain increases psychosis occurs what these antipsychotic drugs do this chlorpromazine is typical antipsychotic drug this chlorpromazine as well as all the typical antipsychotic drugs 
will bind to D2 receptor of dopamine and will block that receptor so that whatever dopamine released will be inhibited. So dopamine level in the brain will be maintained. So this chlorpromazine will work as antipsychotic drug. Rather than this D2 receptor, phenothiazines and thiozanthin also block D1, D3 and D4 receptor. So they inhibit the release of dopamine and will maintain dopamine level. Atypical antipsychotic possess 5-HT2 and alpha-1 receptor blocking action. Some atypical antipsychotic are also there that block D4 receptor of dopamine. So by blocking this 5-HT2 receptor, alpha-1 receptor and D4 receptor, they maintain dopamine level and work as antipsychotic drug. So by blocking of dopamine receptor, decreasing concentration of dopamine, these chlorpromazine work as antipsychotic drug. Here we have discussed mechanism of action of all antipsychotics. In your examination, you have to mention mechanism of action of just chlorpromazine only. So this is all about synthesis and mechanism of action of chlorpromazine. Prepare well. We will meet again in the next lecture with another topic. Thank you for watching this video.